Picture this, it's a cozy evening, and you're nestled on your favorite armchair, the scent of popcorn filling the air. The year is 1963, and you've just hit play on a cinematic gem that would forever be etched in your memory, King Kong vs. Godzilla. The flickering images on your old TV screen transport you to a world where two colossal titans clash in a battle for the ages. Do you remember that rush of excitement, the awe that swept over you as these legendary creatures duped it out? I bet you do, for every soul who's ever witnessed this epic showdown carries a pocket full of memorable moments. Now, as we step back in time, I'm here to bring you some fascinating tidbits about the show, the things that happened behind the scenes, and the impact it had on the world of cinema. So, join me as we delve into the untold stories and surprising facts about King Kong vs. Godzilla, a true cinematic marvel that sparked the imaginations of generations. Hold on tight because we're about to embark on an exhilarating journey through time and movie magic. In the 1963 movie King Kong vs. Godzilla, several interesting facts emerge. While there is limited information available about the comical businessman named Taco, it's worth noting that in this version, he is given the first name of Yashio, a change from the Japanese original. The name Taco means octopus, which is a recurring motif in the film, both literally and figuratively. Another notable change in this film is the number of toes on Godzilla. In King Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla has three toes instead of his usual four. This alteration was made because the number four is considered unlucky in Japan. For this comical and more positive appearance of Godzilla, he retained only three toes. In later, more serious Godzilla films in the 1980s, he returned to having four toes. Additionally, the film features the Davy Crockett, a portable missile-launched nuclear weapon developed by the United States. At the time of the movie's release, this weapon was still classified, adding an element of intrigue to the plot. These intriguing details add depth to the 1963 movie King Kong vs. Godzilla and shed light on the creative choices made by the filmmakers. Whether it's the symbolism of character names or the choice of Godzilla's toes, these elements contribute to the unique charm of this classic monster movie. The 1963 movie King Kong vs. Godzilla marked a significant moment in the history of Japanese cinema. It was the first Godzilla film to utilize Toho's Big Pool, originally constructed for the 1960 film Hawaii Midoe Dekeksen, Teihei no Arashi. This enormous pool measured over 200 feet at its widest point, and nearly 200 feet at its deepest, backed by a 50-feet concrete wall. It served as the primary location for water scenes in Toho-produced Godzilla films and other tokusatsu productions until Godzilla Final Wars in 2004 when it was demolished. In 2016, more than 50 years after the original release, an American remake of King Kong vs. Godzilla was announced with a scheduled release date set for 2020, bringing a classic monster showdown to a new generation of moviegoers. While many Godzilla films include intentional comedic moments, the original Japanese version of King Kong vs. Godzilla stands out as the only entry in the series entirely written as a light-hearted comedy. This unique approach incorporated elements of the Salaryman comedy genre, which satirizes white-collar workers and Japanese commercialism, a style that was immensely popular with Japanese audiences at the time. In conclusion, King Kong vs. Godzilla holds a special place in cinematic history as it introduced Toho's iconic Big Pool, led to an American remake in 2016, and stands as the sole lighthearted comedy in the Godzilla franchise, reflecting the humor and satire popular in Japan during its release. King Kong vs. Godzilla, a clash of firsts and Western controversy in 1963. King Kong vs. Godzilla brought a seismic shift to the iconic film series. Notably, it marked the first time both King Kong and Godzilla graced the screen in vibrant color and widescreen format. Despite being the third installment for both monsters, it's important to note that this film isn't a direct sequel to the original King Kong or Son of Kong. While hailed as one of Godzilla's popular and successful ventures, the American re-edit of the film faced harsh criticism from Western movie critics. Many disparaged the Japanese effects and disapproved of Japan's portrayal of King Kong as a comical character. The dubbing, done by American distributors rather than the original filmmakers, came under fire. Ironically, some critics failed to recognize that the film originated in America, and the version they critiqued was a result of American alterations to the original Japanese comedic version. 
Despite the uproar, a few, such as the La Times, appreciated the film's effects and the Quasimodo-esque expression of Khan, praising the comedic elements that others dismissed. One intriguing aspect of King Khan vs. Godzilla is its role in shaping Godzilla's iconic roar. The film introduced Godzilla's more familiar high-pitched roar, a blend of two original 1954 roars, accelerated for heightened effect. This modification aimed to soften Godzilla's dark persona from previous films. This distinctive roar endured as Godzilla's signature sound throughout the Showa Godzilla film series, and persisted in the verses divided by Heisei and Millennium Godzilla film series with slight modifications. In conclusion, King Kong vs. Godzilla isn't just a clash of giants but a convergence of cinematic firsts and Western critique. The film's introduction of color, widescreen, and Godzilla's iconic roar left an indelible mark on the franchise. While met with mixed reviews, it remains a pivotal moment in the evolution of these iconic monsters on the big screen. In the making of the 1963 film King Kong vs. Godzilla, the challenges faced by the suit actor for King Kong, Shichai Heroes, were notable. Heroes had to be sewn into the Kong suit every time he entered it. This cumbersome process became a serious issue when, on one occasion, the suit caught fire. Due to the intricate sewing, Heroes found himself helpless, unable to be quickly extracted from the burning suit. While promoting the original version in Japan, Toho took an unusual approach by releasing interviews with the iconic monsters, King Kong and Godzilla. In these staged interviews, the monsters portrayed themselves as sumo wrestlers preparing for their epic battle. This unconventional marketing strategy added a touch of humor and entertainment to the film's promotion. Initially considering stop-motion animation for certain scenes, the filmmakers faced a time constraint imposed by the rapid production pace of the Japanese film industry. Despite abandoning the idea for most parts, there are a couple of scenes where stop-motion is employed. Notably, during the fight with a giant octopus, and in the second battle between Kong and Godzilla when Godzilla surprises with a dropkick. These behind-the-scenes tidbits shed light on the intricacies and creative decisions involved in the production of King Kong vs. Godzilla in 1963. From the challenges of suit actors to the quirky promotional strategies, the film's journey reflects the dynamic landscape of Japanese filmmaking during that era. As we bid adieu to the colossal clash of the titans in the iconic 1963 film, King Kong vs. Godzilla, take a moment to let the echoes of this cinematic showdown resonate within you. This battle, not just of monsters, but of ideologies and raw power, leaves an indelible mark on the tapestry of cinema. As the credits roll, I invite you to dive into the caverns of your memories, unearth that connection you forged with the colossal ape and the radioactive behemoth. Did the roars reverberate through your childhood dreams? Did the scale of their clash mirror the epic struggles in your own life? King Kong vs. Godzilla isn't just a movie, it's a tapestry woven with the threads of our experiences. Maybe it sparked a fascination with the grandiosity of monsters, or perhaps it became a cornerstone in your journey through the world of film. Share your thoughts, your memories, the emotions that this colossal clash stirred within you. In the vast realm of cinema, certain movies become more than just celluloid. They become mirrors reflecting our own stories. So, reflect on your personal odyssey with King Kong and Godzilla. What did this battle signify for you? Was it a spectacle that left you in awe, or did it carve a niche in your heart? Your stories, your reflections, are the true treasures that give life to these cinematic giants. Share them with us, share them with fellow enthusiasts, and let's revel in the collective tapestry of memories that King Kong vs. Godzilla has woven across time. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane. Your time and your stories are the heartbeat of this community. Until we unravel the next reel of nostalgia, this is your cinematic sanctuary, curated with the threads of shared memories. Keep the tales alive, keep the roars echoing, and remember, every monster has a story, every story has a behemoth. This has been a reflection on King Kong vs. Godzilla.